A lot of people have turned on Selena and are now defending Hayley for all their eyebrow drama that happened earlier this year, simply because Selena's good girl pick-me mask is slipping, and many believe that they are starting to see her for who she truly is. A lot of people believe that Selena is addicted to playing the victim card and fishing sympathy from her fans. Firstly, before we get into this video, go and check out my second channel, Reddit Investigator. We're spilling the tea that's not celebrity tea. I cover a range of topics straight from trending Reddit threads, some super intense, super crazy stories, so be sure to go and subscribe. Selena Gomez low-key has pick-me vibes. The term pick-me girl is a colloquial and often derogatory phrase used to describe a person, typically a woman, who seeks validation or attention, especially from men, by putting down other women or by conforming to traditional gender roles and expectations. A pick-me girl may go to great lengths to portray herself as different from other women, often claiming she is more low-maintenance, understanding or easygoing in an attempt to be more appealing to men. The term is often used to criticise individuals who undermine other women in their quest for attention or validation. Fans didn't realise Selena was a pick-me at first, but now over the years there's been things that she's done, ways she's interacted with other celebrities, that have now led people to believe she has some serious problems with wanting to be the main character and have people feel sorry for her. The way she's literally sat back and watched people get cancelled over her fans fighting over her is crazy. And I'm not just talking about Hayley Bieber and Kylie Jenner getting cancelled for that whole eyebrow scandal. She once sought compliments by expressing a desire to resemble Bella Hadid, her ex's former partner, leading her fans to unjustly attack Bella. What bothered most about this was her apparent awareness that this statement would provoke such a reaction from her followers. So who is the real mean girl here? The way she interacts with people on social media and throws subtle shade at certain celebrities gives off bad vibes to her ride or die fans that have defended her so heavily since that drama between her and Hayley first Started. Selena is definitely being weird on social media at the moment. This may have something to do with her addictive personality. For those unaware of what I mean by that, she's literally said before in an interview, and I quote, I took a break off Insta for a year, maybe a year and a half. I'd rather stay away from anything that's going to make me feel like shit. I got back on Instagram because I was releasing music, but I just told my best friend Courtney Lopez yesterday, I'm going to have to take it off my phone again soon. They know I have an addictive personality and it can be unhealthy. Selena Gomez's persistent dependence on social media and the overwhelming sympathy she receives from people have become increasingly noticeable, reaching a point where her intentions are becoming quite transparent. In today's digital age where celebrities often navigate the complexities of public attention, Selena's continuous engagement with social media platforms has contributed to an ongoing narrative that raises questions about authenticity and genuine connection. It's pretty obvious that Selena leverages social media as a means to garner sympathy, creating a sense of vulnerability that resonates with her followers. While it's natural for public figures to seek support and empathy from their fans, the frequency and intensity of Selena's online presence seems to blur the line between genuine expression and calculated self-promotion. This persistent reliance on the digital realm has, in a way, overshadowed her talents and accomplishments, shifting the focus from her work to her personal struggles. The line between Selena Gomez, the artist, and Selena Gomez, the social media persona, has become somewhat blurred, leaving some fans and observers questioning the authenticity of her online presence. During the ongoing feud between her and Hayley, and I say ongoing because trust me, shit is still going down and we're going to get into all that, but yeah, back when Hayley and Kylie were getting dragged to filth for bullying Selena over her brows, Selena could not stop going on social media and commenting on the situation indirectly and directly, making herself out to be more of a victim. And not just that, the way she would comment stuff, now looking back it's clear that she knew how her fans would respond and the effect that this would have on Hayley's mental health. 
Selena commented on this TikTok of Hayley Bieber from years ago where Hayley had made comments on how she didn't like Taylor Swift's music. Selena commented, so sorry my best friend is and continues to be one of the best in the game. Like girl, you knew Hayley was getting dragged at this point and you want to bring up a super old video that's not relevant to the current reason why she's getting cancelled, aka the comments about your brows? People are like, please. And now with the way she's been behaving on social media at present, her fans are finally starting to see her for who she is. She is legit too grown to be acting like this. The mask is slipping and we're here to investigate why. Selena's romantic relationships have undeniably been marked by a fair share of drama over the years. Many observers have noticed a recurring pattern in her behaviour, particularly in the aftermath of breakups. It appears that Selena has a tendency to relish the attention and reactions she receives from fans whenever she announces her single status or channels her emotions into music that seemingly pits everyone against her ex-partners. It's important to clarify that no one is suggesting her exes aren't entirely at fault in these situations. However, what stands out is the way Selena seems to embrace her single status during these turbulent times. It's as though she finds comfort in the sympathy and support she garners from her fan base when navigating the complexities of heartbreak and romantic disappointments. Selena's public image has become intertwined with her romantic escapades, transforming her love life into a spectacle for the public eye. This pattern where she finds solace in her single status amidst relationship challenges hints at a deeper psychological and emotional dynamic. Perhaps Selena's actions are rooted in a genuine desire for empathy and understanding during difficult moments. On the other hand, it's worth considering whether the constant cycle of publicising her single status as a coping mechanism, a way to navigate the tumultuous terrain of relationships under the scrutiny of the media and fans alike. One noticeable trend that fans have observed over the years is the undeniable surge in attention Selena Gomez receives whenever the topic of Justin Bieber arises. It's a testament to the power of attention in the music industry, where visibility, whether positive or negative, plays a pivotal role in an artist's trajectory. The music industry, notorious for its cutthroat competition, demands constant engagement with fans in the media, and Selena has navigated this landscape adeptly. Despite her devoted fan base, it's wildly acknowledged that Selena is better at acting than she is at singing. This contrast adds an intriguing layer to her public persona. However, what truly fascinates observers is the way she handles moments of controversy and drama. For instance, when the tension between her and Hayley Bieber surfaced earlier this year, Selena was simultaneously launching new products for her makeup line, Rare Beauty. The timing was impeccable, capitalising on the empathy and support from her fans. This move highlighted the symbiotic relationship between celebrities and their followers. Her fans, empathising with her situation, rallied behind her, contributing to the immense success of her makeup line, translating into millions in revenue. This strategic approach speaks volumes about Selena's ability to turn challenging situations into opportunities for growth and financial success. Selena leveraged that whole drama and pushed her brand and made bank off it. Halloween this year was a crazy time for celebs. Khloe Kardashian was called out for blackfishing. Kendall was called out for being a Marilyn wannabe, like the rest of her family. Don't know what Selena went as, but boy oh boy did people have a field day when Hayley posted this to her Instagram. She literally recreated the Mean Girls movie poster, taking the piss out of anyone who's called her a mean girl this year. Fans knew what was up. To add to the drama, she posted another pic that had said, this girl is the nastiest skank bitch I've ever met. Do not trust her. She is a fugly slut. Hayley Bieber. In the comments, people were here for it, and others were ripping her to shreds, saying that she's low-key shading Selena. She's roasting the haters, Ali Mefayo. The point of Halloween is dressing as someone else. If dress is yourself, there is no fun. She did this for everyone that was assuming she was the mean girl. You are iconic, Hayley. Dressing up as yourself is in a Halloween fit. She is so childish. At your age. Hayley definitely did that one for the haters, and you best believe she's been promoting the shit out of her skincare line since her popular Halloween post. Many believe she's posted this to throw shade at Selena because Hayley was literally painted out to be a bully and a mean girl earlier this year thanks to her alleged eyebrow bullying scandal against Selena with Kylie Jenner. At the time that drama broke, boy oh boy did Selena have a field day playing the victim card. Selena had eventually posted this to her Instagram story to defend Hayley after Hayley suffered an insane amount of backlash. Hayley Bieber reached out to 
to me and let me know that she has been receiving death threats and such hateful negativity. This isn't what I stand for. No one should have to experience hate or bullying. I've always advocated for kindness and really want this all to stop. Hayley responded on her Instagram story, I want to thank Selena for speaking out as her and I have been discussing the last few weeks how to move past this ongoing narrative between her and I. The last few weeks have been very hard for everyone involved and millions of people are seeing so much hate around this, which is extremely harmful. While social media is an incredible way to connect and build community, moments like this only create extreme division instead of bringing people together. Things can always be taken out of context or construed differently than they were intended. We all need to be more thoughtful about what we post and what we say, including myself. In the end, I believe love will always be bigger than hate and negativity, and there is always an opportunity to meet each other with more empathy and compassion. Hayley's statement pissed a lot of people off at the time. The drama didn't die there, and for sure, people still believe to this day Hayley is a mean girl. Whether or not Selena enjoys playing the victim card or not, there's just too much evidence out there that proves that Hayley is an exact an angel. Selena Gomez recently talked about her split with Justin Bieber once again. She'd spoken to Fast Company about how her breakup with Justin made her stay off Instagram for years. During her recovery, Gomez, who was still reeling from her final breakup with longtime on again, off again boyfriend Justin Bieber, realized that social media had become too toxic a space for her. I had just gotten my heart broken. I didn't need to see what everyone was doing, she says. A TikToker made comments about this article and went on to say that it's very delusional to think that she's getting clout from Justin Bieber as she made her own success prior to even being with him. She'd even commented on this TikTok saying, thank you so much. Fans believe that this was her liking a Bieber hater TikToker video. Selena's comment has since been deleted. The TikToker had ended the clip by saying that Justin Bieber stands need a life, which is probably why people were freaking out that she was commenting and liking this TikTok. So that just brings us back to Selena's weird social media interactions. She definitely throws subtle shade and loves getting sympathy from her fans. I also think it's super weird that Selena stayed silent about Hailey Bieber and Kylie getting cancelled for allegedly bullying her. She stayed quiet for so long. At that time, she was definitely getting insane sales, and then she eventually addressed the drama, as we all know, with her statement. I think she low-key enjoyed Hailey getting cancelled, and maybe that's why Hailey doesn't care about posting that shady Halloween costume. The dust has finally settled, and Hailey can finally make jokes on the drama. Selena's gradual unveiling shedding the layers of her carefully crafted persona has left many of her admirers in shock and disappointment. It's a bitter pill to swallow, realising that the person you once admired for their talent and charm might not be who they claim to be. A lot of people are unfollowing her on every platform as the dissonance between her public image and her true nature are starting to become too stark to ignore. What's truly disheartening is Selena's tendency to portray herself as a victim while subtly manipulating the dynamics of the entertainment and Industry. Behind the scenes, she exerts influence, subtly pulling strings and shaping narratives, all while presenting herself as an innocent party. This dual nature, the stark contrast between her public image and her private actions, paints a disturbing picture of deception and calculated behaviour. People have been noticing Selena's nice girl pick-me persona has been gradually fading thanks to the constant stream of shady TikToks that she's been posting. Selena recently posted a TikTok promoting her new song, single soon over a title that ties back to her ex Justin Bieber. Justin's been married for the past five years now and people knew what shade she was throwing when she posted this TikTok. Top commenters wrote Justin Bieber. She knows how to play. Ah ha ha ha. Stay toxic sis. We are here for it and love it. The sound she chose in that TikTok too. It's over. I told my wife. Makes everyone think about Justin Bieber hypothetically telling his wife it's over because he's still madly in love with Selena. Selena continues to share her single status prominently on her TikTok, making it evident that she perceives herself as forever alone. It's become a recurring theme and a way for her to garner sympathy from her audience. Simultaneously, her viewers seize this opportunity to express their disapproval towards Hayley, whom they hold responsible for Selena's heartbreak over losing Justin. Selena also recently posted a TikTok where the sound said, guess who is a boyfriend, not me, but Y'all be safe out there. And the search engine literally said, Justin Bieber limits comments about Selena Gomez. In the comment section of this TikTok, people were like, girl, please, you can pull anyone you want. Stop with this whole victim complex. There's many more TikToks out there of her crying out for sympathy for the fact that she's still single. These videos serve as a poignant reminder of her emotional state and the longing for connection in the realm of relationships. I'm single! I'm just a little high maintenance, but I love you so much. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm 
totally fine being <laughs> single. It's a real thing. It's single. Apparently, you have to go outside and meet people. Like, you actually have to go outside and talk to them. It's going to be a no for me. Last time I was single, I was 24 and the dating pool was everyone. There seems to be a lingering sentiment that Selena might still harbor hidden affections from her former flame. This notion gains traction from the fact that she frequently brings up her past relationship in recent interviews, an action that hints at unresolved feelings. Contrastingly, Justin appears to have chosen the path of silence, opting to ignore her and the shared history they once had. Observers have noticed a peculiar trend in Selena Gomez's TikTok video a considerable number of them are intertwined with the mention of Justin's name in the search engine. It's almost as if she's trying to keep a digital connection alive, although in a very subtle and cryptic manner. What's truly intriguing is the response from the audience. Each time Selena subtly references Justin Bieber in her TikToks, a flurry of comments flood in, with fans and followers speculating about the nature of their past relationship. It's an unspoken agreement among internet sleuths that these TikToks are in fact veiled references to her former flame. The intrigue doesn't stop there. Hayley, Justin Bieber's current wife, also finds her name intertwined with these online conversations, adding a layer of complexity to the situation. In yet another recent interview she'd had with Q99.7 Atlanta, she stated that she genuinely enjoys being single. But this interview totally contradicts her innermost thoughts expressed on TikTok. Selena embodies the very definition of a mean girl, yet tries to conceal it under the guise of kindness. It's relieving that fans are now beginning to see through her facade. It's almost as if it's karma catching up with her. This isn't just about the unjustified criticism towards Hayley. It's also about the fact that in the public eye, Justin is still perceived as the same immature guy who made mistakes, as she manipulates this perception to portray herself as the virtuous one. Selena Gomez wears two masks one for the public eye and another she conceals, revealing her real self. However, many people are finally awakening to her duplicity. It's surprising how Justin Timberlake and Selena Gomez share common traits, both playing the victim card and openly criticizing the exes, despite not being blameless themselves. Selena's behavior is now leaving fans to feel repulsed. Also, her unwarranted comments on her best friend Taylor's relationship only add to this distaste. Selena's true colors are becoming increasingly evident fans. Thanks to her recent actions, many fans have unfollowed her on all platforms. She epitomizes the silent mean girl in the industry, masquerading as a victim throughout her career. She indulges in judging and indirectly tearing others down. Her saintly image is far from the truth. In the grand scheme of things, if Selena would just channel her energy into her true passions, whether acting or music, she could find genuine happiness and fulfillment. But she's relentlessly scrolling on TikTok daily to keep tabs on her ex or so it seems. She's engaging in the follow-unfollow game and desperately seeking approval from her fans and other celebrities and trying ever so desperately to make people feel sorry for her. People are struggling to take her seriously now because of her online behavior. There is something oddly refreshing though about people seeing her her ever so slowly for who she truly is, especially considering how toxic stan culture can be and how she's been idolized for years no matter what. She should definitely take her own advice and focus on self-love at this point and pursuing her passions and leave behind discussing her love life online. Considering her struggles with mental health, I'm very surprised that she's on social media 24-7. Selena Gomez has fans furious. She's been under fire this week on her opinions regarding the war that's currently taking place in the world. She shared her thoughts and opinions and she has completely victimized herself, further highlighting her victim complex. She's made such a dark tragedy about herself and she's lost a lot of fans because of this. This was the post that she'd made that upset her fans. I've been taking a break from social media because my heart breaks to see all the horror, hate, violence and terror that's going on in the world. People being tortured and killed or any act of hate towards any one group is horrific. We need to protect all people, especially children, and stop the violence for good. I'm sorry if my words will never be enough for everyone or a hashtag. I just can't stand by innocent people getting hurt. That's what makes me sick. I wish I could change the world, but a post won't. Love, Selena. Selena had since deleted that post and had then threatened to leave social media with this post that she'd made. I'm taking a break and deleting
deleting my Instagram. I'm done. I do not support any of what's going on. But then not long after posting this, she deleted it, which has angered her fans even more. She thinks that she won't have a big enough impact on people, even though she has 430 million followers. She's also liked extremely problematic posts made by Amy Schumer, and now she's trying to make herself out to be a victim, always making shit about herself. Her fans are disgraced by her, yet she hasn't lost any of her following, which is quite interesting. Fans went off about Selena's posts on Twitter stating, Selena Gomez has over 400 million followers on Instagram, but says one post can't change the world. Well, then my one returned purchase just might. Being neutral while knowing all the facts is just like you are supporting the oppressors. 430 million followers. Yes, a post can do a lot, Selena Gomez. You taking a break on social media because this affects you, but you're in a million dollar house while people are getting killed. You can't even defend Palestine. You take a neutral stance to save face. People are dying, including innocent children, and fans would have liked her to spread awareness about what's going on in Palestine, but apparently she won't because of who the CEO of her brand is. So what are your thoughts on Selena Gomez at this point? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more celebrity tea.